I'm here at Birmingham's Think Tank Museum, where recently the University of Birmingham's Gravitational Wave Group have launched an exhibit. This is a Michelson interferometer, a mini gravitational wave detector. This light source is a laser. It travels along this path to this beam splitter where the light is split into two. One traveling this way and the other traveling this way. They hit mirrors where they reflect back and recombine at the beam splitter. However, if we move one of the mirrors slightly, then the two beams will travel distances that are not the same. And that means we'll see destructive interference. When a gravitational wave passes through, it stretches space-time in one direction and squashes it in another. This effectively changes the distance travelled by the two beams and is detectable by giant interferometers such as LIGO in the USA. Their laser beams, however, are four kilometres long. But let's go back to interference and the famous Young's double slit experiment. In 1801, Thomas Young successfully demonstrated that light acts as a wave. He used a double slit and a light source. Here, I have a single slit. When I shine a laser through it, the light is diffracted. The light spreads out as it passes through the slit, creating one bright spot in the center and dimmer spots to the side. Here, I have a double slit. These slits are separated by 0.25 millimeters, or 2.5 times 10 to the minus four meters. The light passes through either slit and recombines on the other side, creating a fringe pattern. The bright spots are where the peaks of the wave add up and the dark spots are where the trowels combine. Now Jung found that the separation of the fringes is related to the wavelength of the light, the distance to the slits, and the slit separation in the following way. Our laser has a wavelength of 650 nanometers. At a distance of one meter, we expect the fringes to be separated by 2.6 millimetres. Here, I measure it to be 2.6 millimetres. If we double the distance to two metres, you can see that the fringe separation has also doubled. In Jung's experiment, he first shone the light through a single slit, but that's because he only had a simple light bulb. We, however, have a laser, which is a coherent light source, and that means we can skip that part. In reality, interference is important not only for gravitational waves, but everything from these sunglasses to radio sources. 